Seven Surprising Causes of Breast Cancer Today, we're diving into a topic that touches the lives of so many, breast cancer. Understanding this disease and its causes is not just essential. It's empowering. So grab a seat, hit that subscribe button, and let's explore the world of breast cancer together. Breast cancer is more than just a medical term. It's a journey that millions face. But what exactly is breast cancer and what factors contribute to its development? In this video, we'll define breast cancer, unraveling its complexities, and then venture into the surprising causes that might just leave you in awe. If you find this information valuable, give us a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Let's create awareness, empower ourselves, and foster a community of support. Now, let's jump into the heart of today's discussion. Number 1. Age and gender. Age is a prominent factor in the development of breast cancer, with risk increasing as individuals grow older. The intricate relationship between aging and breast cancer is multifaceted. As cells undergo natural wear and tear over time, the likelihood of genetic mutations, including those that may lead to cancer, escalates. Additionally, prolonged exposure to various risk factors accumulates with age, influencing breast cancer susceptibility. Hormonal changes associated with aging, such as the decline in estrogen levels during menopause, play a role as well. Postmenopausal women are particularly affected as the absence of regular menstrual cycles reduces exposure to estrogen, potentially impacting breast tissue. The aging process also encompasses cumulative environmental exposures, lifestyle habits, and cellular changes that collectively contribute to the intricate landscape of breast cancer etiology. Understanding the interplay between aging and breast cancer risk is essential for tailored preventive strategies and early detection efforts in older populations. Number 2. Genetics and Family History Genetics and family history are significant determinants of breast cancer risk. With specific gene mutations, notably in the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes, linked to a higher likelihood of developing the disease. These mutations can be inherited, increasing the susceptibility across generations. The BRCA genes play a crucial role in regulating cell growth and preventing the formation of tumors. When mutations occur, the ability to control abnormal cell growth diminishes, elevating the risk of breast and ovarian cancers. Additionally, having a first-degree relative with breast cancer may indicate a hereditary predisposition. Genetic counseling and testing can identify individuals with these mutations, enabling proactive measures such as increased surveillance, preventive surgeries, or tailored treatment plans. Understanding the genetic component of breast cancer is essential for personalized risk assessment, early intervention, and the development of targeted therapies for those at elevated genetic risk. Number 3. Hormone Replacement Therapy HRT Hormone replacement therapy HRT has been implicated in influencing breast cancer risk, particularly among postmenopausal women. HRT involves the administration of estrogen or a combination of estrogen and progesterone to alleviate menopausal symptoms. Prolonged exposure to these hormones may fuel the growth of breast cancer cells. Studies have shown that women undergoing combined hormone therapy for an extended duration face an increased risk of breast cancer. Estrogen, while beneficial for managing menopausal symptoms, can act as a double-edged sword by promoting the development of hormone-sensitive breast cancers. Consequently, healthcare providers carefully weigh the risks and benefits of HRT, considering individual health profiles and symptoms. Regular monitoring, exploration of alternative therapies, and lifestyle modifications are integral. Components of managing menopausal symptoms while mitigating potential breast cancer risks associated with hormone replacement therapy Open communication between women and their healthcare providers is crucial in making informed decisions tailored to each individual's health circumstances. Number 4. Early menstruation and late menopause, the timing of reproductive milestones. Specifically, early menstruation and late menopause has been associated with an increased risk of breast cancer. Women who begin menstruating at a younger age and experience menopause later in life are exposed to higher levels of estrogen and progesterone over an extended period, 
Prolonged exposure to these hormones can contribute to the development of breast cancer, particularly hormone receptor positive tumors. Early onset of menstruation means a longer lifetime exposure to estrogen, while a late menopausal age extends the period of hormonal activity. This prolonged hormonal influence may affect the breast tissue, increasing the likelihood of genetic mutations and cellular changes that can lead to cancer. Understanding the role of reproductive history in breast cancer risk is crucial for preventive strategies. Emphasizing the importance of regular screenings and lifestyle modifications to mitigate potential risk factors associated with hormonal exposures. Number 5. Reproductive history. Reproductive history plays a role in breast cancer risk, with certain aspects such as nulliparity never having children or delaying childbirth potentially influencing the likelihood of developing the disease. Women who have never given birth or had their first child after the age of 30 may have a slightly higher risk of breast cancer. Pregnancy and breastfeeding are thought to have protective effects possibly due to the temporary reduction in menstrual cycles and the differentiation of breast cells during these periods. Delayed childbearing or not having children at all can result in prolonged exposure to estrogen and progesterone, which may contribute to the development of breast cancer, particularly hormone receptor-positive tumors. While the relationship between reproductive history and breast cancer is complex, it underscores the importance of understanding individual risk factors for personalized preventive strategies, early detection, and informed decision-making regarding family planning and lifestyle choices. Number 6. Radiation exposure. Radiation exposure, especially during medical treatments like radiation therapy or diagnostic imaging, has been identified as a risk factor for breast cancer. Ionizing radiation has the potential to damage DNA within cells, increasing the likelihood of genetic mutations that can lead to cancer. Women who have undergone radiation therapy for other cancers, particularly at a young age, may face an elevated risk of developing breast cancer later in life. Additionally, repeated exposure to diagnostic radiation, such as chest X-rays or CT scans, may contribute to cumulative radiation doses, potentially impacting breast tissue. It's important for healthcare providers to carefully consider the necessity and frequency of diagnostic procedures involving ionizing radiation, especially in individuals with known risk factors. While medical radiation is crucial for diagnosis and treatment, minimizing unnecessary exposure is essential for mitigating potential risks associated with radiation-induced breast cancer. Regular communication between patients and healthcare professionals aids in informed decision-making and personalized care. Number 7. Certain lifestyle factors. Certain lifestyle factors have been investigated for their potential impact on breast cancer risk. While the relationship between lifestyle choices and breast cancer is complex and not fully understood, some studies suggest associations with increased risk. Excessive alcohol consumption has been linked to higher breast cancer risk, possibly due to its influence on hormone levels and DNA damage. Obesity, especially after menopause, is another factor associated with an elevated risk, potentially due to increased estrogen production in adipose tissue. Lack of physical activity is also considered a potential risk factor, as regular exercise may have protective effects against breast cancer. Furthermore, a diet high in saturated fats and low in fruits and vegetables has been studied in relation to breast cancer risk. While lifestyle factors alone may not be decisive in causing breast cancer, adopting a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet and regular exercise, can contribute to overall well being and potentially reduce the risk of developing breast cancer. Summary In this enlightening video, we embarked on a compassionate exploration of breast cancer, unraveling its intricacies and fostering a deeper understanding of this impactful journey. We began by defining breast cancer, recognizing it not just as a medical term, but as a powerful narrative of strength and resilience. Throughout the video, we touched upon the diverse aspects of breast cancer, shedding light on its complexities and emphasizing the importance of community support. From awareness symbols to the heartwarming stories that unite us, we navigated through a space that seeks to empower and inform. 
Whether you're seeking knowledge for yourself or supporting someone you love, this video serves as a beacon of information and compassion. We encouraged our viewers to share the video, creating a circle of awareness and understanding. Remember, knowledge is power, and together, we can stand united against breast cancer. Thank you for joining us on this meaningful journey. Don't forget to subscribe for more impactful discussions on Health Chronicles.